Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we've got three top stories to hit. Solar satellite impact, solar influence on surface electric fields, and then a major Pacific tsunami in the past. We'll also hit earthquakes, and we're starting with the last 24 hours on our star. Very quiet. Still no flaring, still no CMEs released in Earth's direction, but there are two things we'll need to be monitoring over the coming days. The incoming coronal hole is bigger than you may realize watching this here, and big sunspots should be returning soon as well. Let's go to the coronal hole first. You should be able to see here how it extends back towards the limb and way into the north. We are definitely going to have enhanced solar wind and probably low-level solar storm conditions next coming week and weekend. But we also have sunspots coming. Let's tilt this so the incoming limb rotates in over the top. Big arching fields. Big sunspots due to return in two days. Probably not a coincidence. Eyes open here on both those fronts. Earthquakes are up next, where the biggest of the day was south of Australia, but just three minutes later, due north, the mainland shook as well. No significant damage, but it's a rare location event and odd to be just three minutes and due north of the first one. Up next, pretty solid paper by NASA scientists on how solar storms puff up the atmosphere and drag down satellites. It's a major concern these days for sure, but I'll quickly correct the last line of their abstract where they say that satellites in orbit and solar activity are the highest observed in human history, and while that's true for the satellites, it is definitely not for the sun. We are right now on the right side of this chart, so no, not even close to the highest solar activity recorded in human history, but there is something in space weather right now that is highest in recorded human history. Who knows what it is? Comment your answer below and we'll hit that trivia later tonight in a special second video of the day. Up next, excellent look at solar storm onset and surface electric fields. While it's not quite the same level of change as going from a sunny day to being intruded by a violent lightning storm, they were able to clearly see how the solar storm onset, the moment of CME impact, can cause instant changes in the electric fields down at our level. Lastly, folks, evidence of a mega tsunami in the Pacific, and they say this one was about 7,000 years ago. Now, I instantly suspect that the dating is a bit older than reality, and for uranium, makes me guess it's about 1,000 years younger. How about that? And they say that no modern tsunami matches this one. It pushed a million pound stone inland from its original placement and lifted it. It was a pretty massive wave. It rewrites what most people would imagine when they think of the scariest tsunami possible. And if indeed it aligns with 6,000 years ago, then that's way bigger than what even I would have imagined for that half cycle event, the Tianqi excursion and unfolding disaster, what many call the NOAA event. Folks, come out to the ranch for one of the special days we've got on deck, pole shift conferences, prepping days, and there's a major permaculture event all next weekend as May turns into June. Come see us, ObserverRanch.com. And don't forget about the Colorado Prepper Expo in October, COPrepperExpo.com, just to skip away from the ranch, and we are one of the sponsors. We'd love to see you out here, ObserverRanch.com, and we greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.